Hello Internet! Today I've decided to talk about the meaning of anxiety by Rollo May. The reason why I wanted to talk about it is that I find that it's an incredibly good book. Now, for a bit of context, I am a clinical psychologist and also a psychotherapist. I'm, I work in France. So the idea behind this program, if you can call it so, oh god, I'm so old-fashioned. Anyway, the idea behind this is that see if the um, book is still valuable right now if you read it, if it has any insights, also what I felt of it, and all of the others. So I, spoiler alert, I suppose, I would really recommend this. The Meaning of Anxiety is an incredibly good book. I felt that contrary to now, because Rollo May is quite old, I think he was born in 1909, which is a very long time ago, and what I felt his perspective was, was incredibly interesting. It's not like modern perspectives of how to cope, how to manage, how to cure even anxiety. He, he's not really into that. He does provide some examples, but for the most part, he is not really interested in that. What he's interested in and what is fundamental in this book is what does it mean? The idea of a meaning is something that I personally find fascinating in that it's not just some, how can I say, symptom, some kind of like neurological mess. He's not into that. He's saying anxiety has a meaning. It's not there for no reason. And that's what I found fascinating in this. He's, he really goes in deep. And when I mean deep, he gives the arguments of Freud, well, classic, yes, but Adler, from Jung, Goldstein, I mean, he goes into so much, and I mean, because this book was written in the 50s, I mean, it might seem old-fashioned, but still, he really does give a whole panorama, and I really felt that he was really adamant. He wanted to go as far as he could, is what it meant. And what I, from my background as a clinical psychologist, felt is that, well, he does manage it. He does give a framework that's consistent, interesting, and passionate about it and I felt that this whole perspective of seeing anxiety as something that's not just a symptom but that has a core meaning to oneself that we are our anxieties and our anxieties are us that it's not so distinguishable I really found it great that he was able to really in this 300 and so book page mark I'm just going to check Anyway, that he was able to really nail in the fact that he, I can say, yes, 372. So basically, he was really able to nail that very core aspect of our being. And I felt that was great. And he really gives examples. And because he's a cl also a clinical psychologist, he doesn't just give in the fairy. He also gives practical, concrete cases of anxiety and what it meant and what he felt it meant and what the patient felt it meant. And what was that was that it was really interesting. It was fundamentally, how can I say, it was really something that would kind of like makes you think, makes you reflect and helps you also shift, I can say, your paradigm to something more akin to psychodynamic theory which, if you don't know what it is, it's basically the idea that we are conflicted, we are not united. And I really like that within his book. He's really into that also. And you can kind of understand what anxiety means. And I think that it's a very valuable tool to not think that it's just some biochemical nonsense in the brain that's happening and it's just a dysfunction and or an impairment, but something that to the core means something and that it has some potential for creativity, because that's also what he's on about, is that it's not just a hinder, it also allows you to express something, to create something, to transform. In a way, anxiety is the um, is a potential, it's an untapped potential. He also goes into the fact that anxiety is also a signal, it's a signal of the fence, that we are losing something of ourselves when we are anxious that we are outside of ourselves, so to speak. And so he goes in into that, and that's wonderful, and it's really great. And I feel that that creative option and that 
I can I say that we are in danger when we feel anxious is very true that we not necessarily like in the old days or in the caveman time not scientific sorry um it's not about a wolf or a bear or a, a lion jumping onto us it's about something more I can I say subtle it's about society and the expectations of society and that we feel threatened if even if our status is undermined, we feel deep anxiety. So he goes into all that also, and I really feel that it was a it was a wonderful read. I would also recommend, if you're interested in Merlot May, The Art of Counseling, which I have read and which is also very good, but is maybe on a more superficial level. And that's pretty much it for the first episode. So the meaning of anxiety, a wonderful book. If you're into really the core of what anxiety is, not just some, how can I say, method or management techniques, it's really great. It's really a good option and it settles the basis of everything. It gives the basis, develops and explains and goes even further. And there's also this wonderful, wonderful hope that's in the book, is that there is that idea, that fundamental idea that through our management and coping with anxiety and overcoming it, we grow, not just as people, but also as a culture, also at the deepest of, of our individuality. And that's wonderful. It's a beautiful message and I couldn't agree more. So let me know what you think in the comments, if you want to leave one, and maybe I'll do another one. Who knows? See ya.